Hello vlog. So I needed another Billy bookcase because my collection has just been growing a little bit more. I don't have shoes in my shelves and I really miss the shoes at the bottom. And then it just, I cannot wait for my other apartment. It's literally less than three months, but I literally need another space. I really need it. Um, I'll give you off of the day. So I'm, I'll leave the links for everything down below. Um, I'm wearing the Sam Edelman Espadrilles. Today's the first day I'm actually wearing them. Um, Espadrilles are really hard for me to find in men's and women's. These are women's Sam Edelman size 10. I like the way it looks. It's very nice and soft. I may look a little weird. Like the, I feel like the lantern kind of bunches up a little bit, but I really don't care. Um, they're molding into my feet. They have a little Sam Edelman emblem. They are super comfortable. I have tried many Espadrilles in the past. And when I saw these ones and I like the color white, I was like, I have to have them. I'm using my Monster Gabrielle pouch, as you can see, just kind of like thrown there. Um, egg woody jeans that I showed in my last haul video, so I'll leave it linked down below for you. This Burberry shirt, which I'll show you when I get home, or I'll show you in a second. And that's what I'm wearing, super nice, super simple, but these espadrilles are very, very comfortable. But I did need that new Billy bookcase, and I said today is the day, because I said they have, so like this morning when I woke up, I checked and said, there's like 20 something in stock. And then I checked before I came here, so there's four in stocks. So I was like, I have to get it, so I got it. So you're gonna help me build this and complete this. This is my Bob the Builder duty of July summer. So let's go ahead and build this. And I always get asked about my iconic wall. Um, I can't believe I used that word, iconic, but you know, I always get lots of questions about it. It's literally all Billy bookcases. They're really nice and easy to build. And you know, that's my iconic background that I use um, for filming my videos. So I really like it. So maybe you get to see how I kind of like change stuff and how I'm gonna rearrange it. And it's only $50, so I'll make sure to leave it linked down below. But it does go in and out of stock though. I am not made to make furniture. I am looking through my dad's tool stuff and I literally don't even know what to do. So I think I'm gonna have to call him. Oh, I've missed you. Did you miss me? Because I've missed you so much. My little puppy. Oh my god. So heavy. We're getting it done. So I finally got my little thing in. It's 5 p.m. I've been running around errands, doing things like crazy. I ended up going to last call. I ended up going to last call and I got some goodies. Tap, tap, tap in. Um, yeah, I got some goodies. So I'll show this in a haul. Well, you may actually see it once I have the shelving units done. So this is what it looks like now. All my bags went into undisclosed location. These are just some that I have here. But every time I go out of town, um, I make somebody come and pick them all up. Well, pick up a certain quantity of things that I have. So um, I will be getting them all in a second. Um, and I have like no shoes and stuff. So what I want to do is grab the other Billy bookcase, put it here. And then so I can have all handbags here. And then I could have all shoes in the bottom row. So that's what I'm going to be working on. Um, I really like the shelving units because you can honestly just move them around. You have these little pegs right here and you can make them high. You can make them short. You can really what you you can really make it what you want it to be. And so I always tell people these Billy bookcases, like these were, I think I bought them when they were still 70 or maybe they're all 50. Literally $150, you can have this shelving unit. And then I did have to buy extra shelves because... Um, I just, the way I had it, especially with shoes, and they're, I think they're 10 and $15 each, but these shelving units will last you. They look really great behind YouTube backgrounds. If you need the storage, like, I mean, they're bookcases, but I kind of like the way they display. They look really good. And I'm excited to finally have extra space to put everything in here, but this is what it looks like right now. And I'll give you an update and I'll show you kind of how I will organize it. Like I'll put a prop here so you can kind of see how I'm going to be cleaning and organizing. Okay. So I'm very excited to organize this. I'm about to take everything out. Here are all my bags that I want to put up there. Here is this pile of shoes and I have, so I have like a lot more shoes. And then I have like here, like my rail. So I feel like I really needed this space. So we shall see how we will organize it. Right now, let me try to like get it fixed up a little bit. Definitely want to go back to doing like shoes at the bottom. I think having shoes at the bottom was really well. I, I think I may start with like sandals here. So my thing where I want to do is so basically here, these ones right here in the middle, you can't move. So I want to do like a little bit of an under shelf, like do like three rows of shoes and then handbags on top of here. 
I think I want to organize the handbags first and then I'll start with the shoes because the shoes are maybe a little bit more harder. So as what I'm doing right now, and I have extra shelves in the back as well in my closet. So here I kind of want to start with, let's see. So it's about, it's a little bit higher. So here on the top, here on the top, top shelf, I'm going to put my cold Gaia clutch. I'm going to put it on top of here. I will be listening to Lovely Tea uh, podcast. Um, I'll leave the link down below. Put my little white cassette over here as well. And we're going to kind of start with like, basically we're going to kind of transfer. We're going to put like all the wider bags here and then we'll transition to put all the black bags here at the end. I definitely really needed the space. I definitely really wanted um, to have more kind of room to put things just because I feel like I have so much stuff that it's not even funny. You guys more over here so you can kind of see a little bit. We'll start there since that's what we're kind of starting with. I just kind of wanted to bring you guys along so you can know, organize it. So this one's maybe a little bit smaller. So I think I'm going to go another one down. I'll start with real cloud bag here as well. I think I'll start with like that. Maybe I may put it a little bit lower. I definitely do want it to look a little bit more boutique -y. I definitely do not want it to look clutter. And if I have to put stuff in the back in the closet, I don't want to. But I'm okay with that. But what's fun about this is just so much fun. Like I just like the way I kind of build it. And nobody bothers me. Like I like it. And I'm gonna bring this one down a little bit. And then here I think I'm gonna put my the way they puzzle back. Down, no, actually, I'm gonna put my Coach pillow and my Coach Cassie down here. So then on top here, I'll put my Loewe puzzle bag and then I'll put my Monster Gabriel pouch. And then I'm just gonna bring this one on top. And then sometimes when I do move bags that are a little bit more delicate, like the acrylic, I put it on the side versus just kind of doing it like here because I don't want to run the risk of it breaking. I do have to do another closet, so I feel like I have so much shit all over the place. So I will do a closet so be prepared for that. Like a lot of things. Um, I, I like that. I think that is so cute. And then here, I may actually just put the St. Laurent tote here and then put shoes under it. And then here are gonna be more of like the browns. I definitely do want to put more totes at the bottom. Here I definitely want to dedicate more of handbags, like more smaller handbags. So here will probably be like my pop of colors. So on the top. I could probably put, I don't know, in the middle, I kind of want to put like the star items that I have um, in in here. I think I may put my cassette here, my really pretty green one that I just got, and then I think I kind of want to put this Brandon Blackwood bag here. I don't know, I just like how boutique -y it looks, like I'm just like obsessed with it. What are colored bags? This, these are always kind of the hardest ones. So I'll probably put the cassette and the Burberry bag here on top. Then I'll probably put my blue bags. I'll put my... Is that thunderstorm? Girl, Texas weather, no, no. But this Troy Rich Kira, this Chloe bag here. And then I forgot that I had my Lady bags basket bag. So I may just put that one and I'll pair it with my Poland handbag. Right. I can always do my pop of color on another side. Yeah, I'm gonna put the pop of colors on the other side and then I can put more neutrals. So I like this here because of the basket bag. I, put, I like my coach bag here, these two here. And then where is my row moon shape bag? That's the bag that I'm missing. Put the pull in on top, and then I'll get a stand, and I'll put this Troy Bridge Kira here. Um, I usually use like jewelry boxes or like small boxes that I get from my like brand or like perfume boxes and stuff like that. And so I have the drawer here, and then I'll just set it down here, and then it just, you know, I mean, it depends the box, but for the most part, it like sits there perfectly. And then I have to take these ones out here too. These are some these are some microphones that I have yet to use. But look how nice that looks. Oh my god, I really needed the organization. That looks really good. That look very boutique-y. Like it just looks so like crisp and proper. Like these are all my handbags. Welcome to my handbag collection. I'm just kind of here for it. 
And then, so obviously, hmm. And I, I, like I said, I'll put the totes in more bigger bags. I'm not worried because I'll, I'll find a space for it. And then here, I guess I put all the other bags that are not big bags. So I guess all my color bags. So, well, I have a navy bag here too that's not colored. That's the thing. I have my Brandon Blackwood bag, which I'm gonna put you guys a little bit more closer. My Brandon Blackwood bag, I have my Michael Kors Soho Navy, and then I have my Coach Pillow bag. And then I have these colorful bags, and then I have my Michael Kors Brush shot here. So I think I may do kind of like that colorful look in this section, and then we'll just move it into blacks. But I really like how clean it looks. So I guess we'll start, and I don't mind if a row has three bags if they're really small, like all these little blue bags here. I mean, I don't mind putting the Soho here because it's um, it's blue. I have my cassette in green. I have my Michael Kors um, Bradshaw here. I can put my Burberry red one back here on top. So you don't know, organize it with a chain. Actually, I don't hate that. I don't hate that the Brendan Blackwood bag is in the middle here. I would have to find space for my Michael Kors Soho in navy. Or I may put in here on the side. And then I'll put this rouge one from Coach, my Coach pillow bag. And then I may have to put, put the Michael Kors on top. Let's see. You have to get a better, I have a better stand. I just picked a little jewelry box, but I have a better stand would be better. The green ones can go here. And I guess I could put the red rubbery one, the Brandon Blackwood bag here, and then this Coach bag right here. It's okay if like it doesn't match because it's just all my colorful section and I don't expect to have each of one. And then so here I can just put like my tray merch, my clothing, and then my decor sofa. So I think that doesn't look cluttered at all. Obviously it's not spaced out like the other sections, but when I look at it, it doesn't look cluttered, especially because it's it's in the wall. It's not here and up in the front, where it's a little bit more heavy. Um, yeah, I actually don't hate that. That's actually that actually is pretty good. And then so I like it, it looks really good. And then here on the top bags, which I'll bring you guys along, I want to put all the bigger ones up on top. So I may have the triple exposed. So the bags that are gonna go on the bottom are like this one, this one, um, this other Toy Birch one. And like I said, I don't mind if I have the back stock one, this new Toy Birch monogram that I just got, um, my Marc Jacobs, uh, my Daphne Dover to it will go up there. And since I have more space, I may just, um, I think I have one more peg. Or I may just find, I may just figure it out in a second. These two bags, which is my, which I have my Troy Birch sign bag, and then my Chanel uh, 19, and uh, my St. Laurent camera bag. These are all bags that I want to be here up on the top. Also, I have the white kind of clear bags, the brownie bags, mm, this kind of colorful one. I'm kind of happy for all these colors. And then I have my wall of black bags. And then I still have space for all these bags. Obviously, the Dagny is going up there. Um, and then I kind of do want to put like some of the totes here. I may have to just put one in one. So I may just do my Toy Birch, my Toy Birch, and then my St. Laurent. And I may just put my Tofar. Um, on a stand or I could put it up here um, But yeah, that one the Marc Jacobs may have to get back stocked But everything else can go here and the rest will be for these shoes I don't anticipate for all the shoes to be up here But at least a good amount a good good amount of shoes probably like at least like 20 pairs I, I want them to go up on the shelf. So let me kind of get this organized and see what I can make But I like that. It's not over cluttered. I I quite enjoy that So that looks good, don't you say? And then I think I want to focus a little bit more here on the back, see what I could fit. I kind of want to put maybe like sandals and stuff here, um, just to kind of start off with, or like loafers. I think that'd be really good to just kind of start off with. In the brown and in the white ones. 
So I have the white Millers, and then let me grab. Oh, and then my Jambito Rossi's, I'll put them here too. That, and I don't know if I, I want to put another shelf, or I can just put boots here, which I don't necessarily mind, because I do have these very, very kind of tall wing boots. And the shoes, it doesn't have to be like completely like by category of what it is. As long as it looks clean, I think that's what really matters to me. And so here, I can put my wing boots that are white. Or actually, should I put other sandals? Or should I put sneakers? So I have that. And thank you guys for coming to organize everything. I feel like I really needed this organization session. I have some row sandals here. Um, I have one pair. Here's the other one here. Um, I'll put the Chanel ones here, but they're still in the box. So in the meantime, here's my other pair of row platform sandals. That works perfectly. And then I'll just put my Valentino slides there. In the meantime, I could only find one. So I have one there, and then I'm not too worried about the other one. Here around somewhere. Little, little moment. Fits you perfectly. The handles may be a little squished, but that is okay. So I am planning to add another shelf here. I think this one is a really great length here. If it's really dusty, I will put, I will clean it up. So I want to put definitely my roll mules here. I definitely kind of want it to be more kind of like a loafery section. So I have my roll mules there. I have my Gucci shoes that needs to get cleaned out. And then I'm going to put my Gucci Prince Tones. Yeah, so I'll put these here. Then my Gucci Prince Tones. And then my other Gucci just the regular ones and then I have another board that I'm gonna put right there real quick. I have my Bottega loafers here. Oh and then I have a pair of espadrilles too. So I'll put that hmm. Let me put that these Bottega ones here. My one and only pair of espadrilles that are from Sam Edelman. And then my other Gucci loafers could go there as well. Yeah, that's perfect. And uh huh. My Valentino has been found. That actually looks pretty good. The McQueens. These McQueens are all dirty. I need to get them clean. But I'll put the McQueens here in the first two. And I do have to get them clean though. I do. And then I put my Troy Birch Walker ones here too. Because they're really, really comfortable. And it's a really nice uh, go-to sneaker. And it's one of my favorite shoes under $200. So I think I could, put, I could put those there. And then let me just grab all the mates for them. Some of my queens. There we go. And then here in this next one, I think I will, I think I'm gonna put these ones up there because I don't have the space for them. And then here for the last one, oh my God, I have some, like, quite a bit of shoes that don't even have a home. Um, I'm gonna put my Tory Burch um, new tote. If anything, if anything, if I do want the more space, I don't mind putting the totes up there or putting them in the closet if that means I have more shoe space. Because by the looks of it, I may need more. I mean, this sandal one, I can definitely make it look more like this one right here, where it looks a little bit, um, where it looks like that. Oh, and then I think I have enough space to put another one here too. I have another thing. I just have to find um, the little thingies, which I don't seem to find. Girls. So I put my one pair of golden goose there, and then I have another pair of golden goose. Then I can put my one and only pair of Gucci sneakers there as well. And then I'm trying to see where, I have another shelf, but I don't know where the little thingies I put are. So I was able to find it to adjust it. The only thing is where the sandals are, I definitely do want to add like another shelf because like I said, I literally have no rooms for shoes. So three more shelf units for the sandal section, I can just kind of transfer, it would be a lot better. I definitely do want to put some boots at the bottom, but um, the boots at the bottom, but um, I think I'm put the boots at the end once I get the other one, because I can kind of move everything around, because the boots won't go under here, and I don't want them to get damaged over time. I mean, I guess some of them could go. I think maybe like the lower tops, like my wings won't go. But like these, like, actually, yeah, I can do boots. So I can put, like, my St. Laurent boots, and then I can put, um, 
I can put I can put a row of boots. I think that'd work. Here I'll just put a row of sneakers. So I'll start with my is one more ones here in the middle. And then I'm gonna put the new ones that I just bought. And then I'll put my Saint Laurent boots here. So like even like my shell sneakers and stuff didn't even have room to make it here. That's how we are for that's how we are for space around here. There's a few shoes I didn't make the cut, which is totally fine. Or I can always put my boots in the bottom. I can always put my boots in the closet too. But let me see how many pairs of shoes. And this is not all my pairs of shoes. I still have like quite a bit. And I could definitely, um, I definitely could get a lot more. So. so these are all the shoes that didn't make the cut. My John Vito Rossi's, my two Chanel sneakers. Uh, beiges, vans, but I will have space for three more and obviously when summer's over I'll put the sandals in the closet. So this is the final product after organizing everything. Oh my god, I think it looks so good. It looks so great. I know the shoes didn't fit, but that's fine. Tomorrow I would go to Ikea and at least have another row of shoes. But I love it because it's like it's filled, but it's not like cluttered. I don't think it's like over much. I don't think it's overkill and it wouldn't surprise me if I have to have another one in the next few months to put right here, but I love it. I like the way it looks boutique-y. I love everything. So we're gonna go and do a little tour. So Telfar, the Marc Jacobs toe, I had to wash it, long story. Dagnito over bags. And then here I have more of my clear bags. And then I have my hot girl summer sandals. And then some sneakers, like I said, some of them are dirty, so don't judge, I have to clean them up. And then a little bit of, uh, a little bit of more like espadrilles and like loafers and meted, like zapatos de metedera. And then here's more of my browns, love them so much. And then here's my little gay colorful moment, my little pride moment. Don't we love it? Eat, remember to eat your greens, guys. So I have my little gay colorful moment, little toy bridge monogram, and then some more sneakers. And then here is black wall with Dagnito over backpacks. So I think it worked really well. I cannot wait to kind of get into the groove of things, but it looks really, really well. I really, really like it. So I want to hear your thoughts and your opinions. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for following me around just to kind of see and organize. Kind of to do like a chill video because I want to kick you with the girlies. I'll leave the links for anything that I talk about down below. I'll make a new haul video. I can't believe I went to last call again. This is pretty as necklaces. I'll talk about it in the next video. And then obviously my gay bag right there. My gay bag right there. I will talk about it. But thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. And let me know if you use the Billy bookcases or what way do you store your handbags. I definitely want to know because it's definitely my favorite way to store handbags. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.